Hey friends, Ash here with Sense back with Mary. And today we're gonna be doing some smelling and rating of 10 important fragrances. These are my most complimented fragrances of all time. I did the video, I think in February of this year. So some of these fragrances are a little bit on the older side, but we've got a, a good classics. mix here. Yeah, classics, that's a good way to put it. So, like always, we've got the dry down sprayed already. Uh, I'm gonna spray the opening for each one of these for you. You'll smell both of them at the same time and give a one to 10. And we'll see which of these still holds up for you and which ones you don't like. Okay. But maybe you like them all, I don't know. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so the first fragrance is Versace Eros. We don't have this set up like in a 10 to one, so it's not like my, uh, my video. We're just doing them kind of randomly. And here's the opening. <laughs> dry down uh -huh. better. Uh, you like to dry down more? <laughs> now, what, are you, what are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> On the fence a little bit? Or? I would say a six. A six overall? A six overall. Six out of 10, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, <laughs> whatever whatever you want. It's like, uh, I don't know, maybe. Six out of 10. Okay, yeah, so that one has vanilla and mint. So mm. it's kind of a the lot. Mint is over, just overpowers the vanilla. Yeah, so that one, a lot of people will wear like to a club. Because okay. it's kind of strong. And so like if you're at a club and it's hot and there's like a lot of people, people around. People are gonna notice. Yeah, you know, exactly, bye. you wanna try to get attention. So attention. that's where that one comes into play in terms of compliment. Hmm. The next one, you knew that one. I did. I think everybody knows this one. So this. This is a classic. It is a classic. <laughs> this one is Curve. <laughs> yeah. Curve was like one of the most. It's still good. <laughs> one of the most worn, I think, fragrances in high school by, by guys. <laughs> You can pick it up on the cheap. This is, you know, at Walmart. I was about to say, and yeah. Walgreens. Is yeah. it at Walgreens? Yeah. I think I've seen it at like Walgreens. It's like everywhere. Yeah. My cousin wore that when he was like 12 or 13, and he was like, Curve is the best fragrance of all like time. Before you even needed deodorant. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Dry down is my favorite. Yeah. Do you recognize that at all from people wearing it I'm, over I'm the wondering, years? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to let it bring me back. It makes me think Tap of into some teenage with Carney County School Bus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a school bus That's... full of kids wearing curve. No. <laughs> um, I would say seven out of ten, because it's a classic. The curve defeats arrows. <laughs> People all across the internet's heads explode. <laughs> what curve? Yeah. <laughs> and the it's familiar. It is familiar. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not too. It's not too loud. Especially around here, I think. I don't know if this is that way all across the U.S. I would imagine it is, but where we live, Curve was popular. literally everywhere. That and uh, I remember that one in uh, Cool Water. Cool Water, yeah. Cool like Water. Off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also uh, like Adidas fragrances. Yes. For whatever reason, guys were like, "Oh, this Adidas smells so good. I'll get so many compliments." So I never really got into Adidas, but my cousin did. The next one is another one that you know and mm -hmm. I think everybody knows is. This is, has honestly always been a favorite of mine. Aqua de Jo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aqua de Jo is, I mean, it, it is what it is, right? Like, it got super ultra popular and everybody loved it and everybody wore it. Fresh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and of course, I like the dry down better. Always. Yeah, it's interesting. I know, There's wonder... a, lo a lot of times people are like, oh, the opening, because it's like louder a lot yeah. of times. Yeah. You're, you're doing opposite there. I know. That's okay. Seven out of 10. Tied with Curve. I'm picky. It's okay. You can be picky if you want to be. So, Aqua du Jo. That one actually, my most complimented of all time. Go, oh. Going back to when it was like newer, Aqua du Jo when it was brand new, everybody had it and it was kind of new at the time. So mm -hmm. everybody was going, oh my God, wow, what is that that you have on? And it was just Aqua du Jo. But it's a little bit more expensive, right? Uh, more expensive than Curve, yeah. I think everything here <laughs> more expensive than Curve, other than maybe this one that we'll get to in a second, but that's because that's also Liz Claiborne. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got two Liz Claibornes on here. That one's probably gonna be my favorite. <laughs> what the Liz, <laughs> that would be super interesting. I like the one that smells like $12. So, this next one also very popular. I like the bottle. It is Blue de Chanel yes. by Chanel. And this is the mm. Eau de Toilette for those that care. I can smell it from here. Dry down, of course. 
<laughs> Every time. That's... And then I give this one a, a nine out of 10. Ooh, yeah. Blue de Chanel, that's a killer, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's just super versatile. Like you can yeah. use it for anything. I think it's powerful, but it's not overbearing. Yeah, so it like grabs your attention, but it doesn't yeah. overwhelm you. Right. Yeah, it's really nice, a grapefruit in there. Ooh, Ooh. It's pretty. A, a nice citrus. Yeah, that's a very popular fragrance. And that one set off the whole like blue fragrance bomb that's happened lately. Gotcha. Like men's fragrances nowadays, blue fragrances Everyone, are the thing. Yeah, yeah. All of them have one. And that's the one that kind of started that trend. Trendsetter. Yeah, exactly. This next one is the other list Claiborne. <laughs> Lucky number six. And I was talking to uh, Mary before we started shooting. I picked this up at Hot Topic in the mall back when I was a lot younger. Not this specific bottle, but this fragrance. And so I wore it a lot. And I thought it was so awesome back then. <laughs> I feel like it kind of smells like cucumber. Oh. <laughs> like a watery kind of Maybe. thing? Maybe. Don't you think, don't you smell cucumber? I can see what you're talking about, yeah. Okay, so I like the opening better of this one. Whoa. I know. That's the first time. I know, yeah. ever, I think. That's okay though. I've said this 10,000 times approximately on the channel, but the dry down is more important because it lasts longer. I think, yeah, absolutely. So this one is uh, inexpensive. Yeah, I would say, I would say six out of, six out of 10. Well, the fragrance's name is Lucky Number Six. Oh, yeah, there we like go, subliminal. ironic, maybe. Yeah, Lucky Number Six by Liz Claiborne. <laughs> So it's not bad. I, like I, I honestly, I smell cucumber. You it's making me think of Bath and Body get. Works. Is it? It is cheap. So I mean, it, it's uh, but it's one that when I was a teen, I wore it so much when I <clears throat> like worked at the mall right. that a lot of people would compliment me. Yeah. Nowadays, I wouldn't really expect any compliments. But what are you gonna do? That was a different time. And nobody would probably be able to tell you what you were wearing though. That's true. It was a simpler time. So this one is Pure Havan by Mugler, Harry Mugler. Hmm. That one is like a sweet tobacco. I was about to say, it kind of smells leathery almost. Does that make sense? That's close. Yeah. It's um, it's I like, like a, it. a honeyed, some people will say Ooh, like, a, yeah. like a honeyed cherry tobacco or I something like, like that. that. Yeah, this one, especially in cooler weather, that's mm -hmm. when I like to wear it because yeah. it's like nice and sweet, kind of projects out there a little so bit. So I like the opening mm -hmm. better. And I would, I would give this one an eight out of 10. Pretty good. Something's, it's different. Yeah, then a lot of like- I'm not sure like, I've smelled uh, anything like this before. Yeah, it, it's different than most of your typical blue fragrances because mm -hmm. where we live, it's not a major metropolitan area. Right. So a lot of times guys are wearing your more standard stuff, like mm -hmm. your Aqua du Jour. Yeah. So it does stand out really, a little bit more here. You can't, I hardly can smell much of the dry down. Maybe that's why. Could be. It's also this atomizer sucks. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah, possible I didn't get an awesome spray on yeah. it, but and that would be my nice. fault. Yeah, these are the bottles look nice, like the star and everything. And each one of these has a different color scheme. There's a whole lot in this line, and this one you recognized also. Another classic. Yeah, this still probably Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Have you smelled this one in the past? Like maybe on people? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those fragrances that lots of guys end up owning. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I give this one, I give the dry down, a, I give it a 10. <gasps> right away, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like good it's, date night fragrance. It, yeah, it's like, it smells like a, a nice neck. You know what I mean? <laughs> a, nice, one, a nice neck. <laughs> like when you give someone a hug and you, right. yeah, and you're just like, mm. Right, like maybe coming off of like their collar. Oh yeah. Something like that. Definitely yeah. a nice date night, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And the, the good thing about that one date night wise is it's not really super loud. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's gonna kind of, kind of sound lame, but right. it's like sensual. Yeah. So it kind sensual. of like draws people it is, in, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's sensual and seductive. Exactly. That's my fave. Is it? What do you give that? A uh, ten out of ten. Ooh, a ten. Just kill it. Crushed it. Crushed the game. Next up is Creed Aventus. Mm. Okay, so dry down. Mm -hmm. Just because this one's kind of powerful. Powerful. The you, opening. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of guys, I should say, like really powerful fragrances. Mm -hmm. Like if you do a video and you say beast mode, then everybody's like, oh wow, I gotta watch that. <laughs> I love huge performing fragrances. Interestingly, most of these fragrances on here are not necessarily huge performers. A few of them are, okay. but a lot of them aren't. As I smell it, it smells a little sweeter. So this one 
and the opening has pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main notes. Okay. And then as it dries down, it has birch. It's a woody I, note I, that gives like a smoky. What I was, that's what I was getting. That's the, what I first kind of got. Yeah, it's like I a think. smoky kind of vibe that it gives off. There's also vanilla and other things in there as well. It's just those are the notes people talk about the most. I like vanilla. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I give this one a I give this one a seven out of ten. I think that's the that's the go-to. Maybe so. It's like it's uh, good. I give it's it a seven. definitely not bad. You oh know? yeah, for sure. None of these are bad. Aventus. A lot of times people will say is a, a boxer dropper. Like they'll say guys like it more oh. than girls. Oh, okay. Maybe I've gotten, so. I've gotten a lot of compliments from guys wearing Aventus. Like, what you wearing, bro? <laughs> I've gotten compliments from ladies as well. Just saying, guys. Boxer dropper. It's a boxer I'm dropper. I'm going to start saying that. Yeah, all guys time. go crazy for it. <laughs> so, next up is La Nuit de Londres. Right here. This is mm. the, the Eau de Toilette. It's another one that I consider, and most people consider, a really good date night. I like this one. Kind of fragrance. Dry down. Yeah. Favorite. Always, right? Yeah, I would say a nine out of 10. So close it's to the one. Right. But not quite there. Not quite there, no. That one is, I think this one's a little bit more sweet compared to this one, but this one's good. Yeah, yeah. I could see that, yeah. There's a sp spicy sweetness in there too. They're and, similar, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same kind of situations you might use them in. Mm -hmm. Again, like I said, kind of a nice bottle. date night fragrance. Yeah, a nice little bottle, a little dark coloration. It, it means the man of the night. Or, oh. uh, no, 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 the night of the man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Close enough. My, my French is subpar. People are going to make fun of me now. I'm going to run away and hide. So <laughs> the last one that we have chosen here, or actually, I guess we didn't really choose it. It was just from my top 10 list. I'm an idiot. So it's <laughs> a Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Here is the dry down for you. You've got these names locked down. What's funny is um, around here, I'll say like the names of a fragrance and people are like, wow, your pronunciation really good. And then the comments are just people like, your French sucks. Oh, <laughs> like, oh okay. Okay. I like the opening better. Mm -hmm. So that one is one that's a little more strong. Yeah. It's kind of grabs your attention like loudly. Uh, it has bergamot, which is a citrus in the opening. Okay. Got ambroxan, which is going to give you that kind of metallic vibe that you might mm -hmm. pick up like that strong some people call it like salty okay. kind of muskiness <laughs> and then it's got uh pepper as well pepper yeah like black oh. pepper and sichuan pepper oh wow double pepper yeah i give this one an eight out of ten. Oh, for a second it's i thought you were gonna give it a low score and i was like mm -hmm. really yeah because no. you, you were kind of well, trepidatious I was, going, I, was, I was going back and forth you're contemplating that's okay so we've we've come to the end here and we have a clear winner, which which you already said. I think you already had your mind made up. Maybe, maybe. it's a Dolce & Gabbana, the it's one. Good. It's good. Yeah. And you said that maybe people had, you know. Smelled like that yeah, in the past. Yeah, smelled like that in the past. Maybe, maybe Bond some. Fond memories. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a great compliment of pulling fragrance. Some people will try to downplay it nowadays mm -hmm. and be like, oh, the one. Uh, but that's always been a huge compliment pull oh, yeah. for me, even to this day. And then. Second place, there's a tie between these two. Oh, really? They both got a nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Blue de Chanel got a nine and Lana Wittalome got a nine. Okay. So, I guess these are, well, which one would you put second? If you had to put, oh, Lana Wittalome? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, the date night fragrances. Yeah. That's what you're mm -hmm. going for here. So, first, second, and then Blue de Chanel third, and Sauvage and Pure Havan tied for fourth and fifth so like back row yeah they killed it they but did other than event i know boxer dropper yes. the boxer dropper. <laughs> very sad it, yeah, yeah. that's no. okay it's still got a seven yeah that's above average if five is average oh for that right. one yeah oh right if five if you say five is average oh, and five is seven. average oh, right exactly in general like okay would you give that one what case? would i give that one mm -hmm. ten a ten girl <laughs> <laughs> Just try, a boxer dropper. To, yeah, I know exactly. Try to sound like a uh, queer eye or whatever. A tan girl. Or, uh, actually, I don't even know if that's how they talk. But yeah. That's exactly how they talk. Is it? No, you said. <laughs> <laughs> Aventus, yeah, 10 out of 10 because it's a it's a boxer dropper to the maximum. And uh, favorite wise for me? Yeah, that, that's my favorite of this whole bunch. If I had to wear just one of them, I'd probably eat that one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a date, it'd be like these two, and and for everyday use, Aventus and probably Blue de Chanel. 
for me. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. And I'm glad that you uh, liked at least a, a couple of these. I right? did. And curve, you know, somehow beat arrows, but <laughs> we'll let that slide. <laughs> it's okay. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another fragrance video. Bye-bye. And then I'm going to leave you now. It's okay, Timmy. We'll cut that out. Okay. You can, you're still sitting there though, and it's gonna. The video is still gonna be running. Okay. Timmy can hear us right now. Okay. Hello, Timmy. What's up, Timmy?